Hey everyone, Scott here from SRG Marketing. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to connect HubSpot to your Google Ads account. And I'm going to walk you through step by step how to do it. I'm also going to explain why this is so important and why it, taking the five minutes to just set this up is going to make a massive difference in your Google Ads strategy and helping you get the results you want. So before I jump in, let's talk about why you should listen to me in the first place. So I'm the founder of SRG Marketing. We are a Google Ads agency that specifically helps B2B SaaS startups generate more inbound qualified demo requests. And the key words here are inbound demos. So we optimize for, for inbound sales meetings, not just conversions. So what we really focus on is making sure that we get the right people to convert on your in your Google Ads campaigns and actually take sales meetings with your with your sales team. And our belief is that if we can consistently do that, get you the right people in front of your sales team, they're going to close at a consistent rate and you're going to actually generate a positive ROI on your on your Google Ads spend. And I think taking this approach helps focus on quality over quantity, which ultimately leads to better leads coming through, lack of wasted spend, and ultimately ultimately just uh, better return on investment for your Google Ads campaigns. So over the past 12 months, we've generated over $3 million in inbound pipeline for our SaaS clients, and we've worked with over 20 SaaS startups to date. So this is something we're very familiar with. And before I jump into exactly how to, to set this up, I wanted to talk about like why this is so important and why this is one of the first things you should do and why it's so critical for, for optimizing your Google Ads account and for ultimately improving your strategy and getting better results. So at the end of the day, we're B2B companies, you're a B2B SaaS company, you're really focused on wanting to get the right people coming through Google Ads. You know, obviously you want to get as many of the right people coming through, but you're less concerned with the number of conversions versus the number of qualified conversions you want to get. So my belief is that with B2B startups and Google Ads, you're really optimizing for quality over quantity. So we're really trying to optimize your account to make sure we're getting the right people coming in and, and make sure they're taking demos. So to me, the key to optimizing and having success with Google Ads is being able to see this data, being able to clearly see of the campaigns you're running, of the keywords you're bidding on, which ones are actually driving the right people, which ones are actually driving sales demos, and which ones are driving customers. And if you can see that data and clearly see that certain keywords are getting you more of the right people and more customers, you can focus on optimizing those keywords, putting more budget on those keywords, doubling down on those keywords, and cutting the ones that don't. And what's going to happen is you're just going to get more sales demos and it's going to lead to a more positive ROI. So to me, having this data is where you start. It's uh, what's going to give you the insights on how to optimize your strategy. It's going to give you the insights on what to cut and what to keep. And it's really how you're going to make decisions. But what happens, what I see a lot when I start working with companies is they don't have this set up. And a lot of times they'll have an agency or they'll be doing it themselves and they'll just be looking in the Google ads platform uh, to, to look at how many conversions they're getting by keywords. So they're making all their decisions based on a lack of information. They don't know which keywords are actually bringing in the right people, which to me means in my, in my mind, you're basically flying blind. You're flying blind. Like you're, you don't know what's actually converting the right people, actually getting you sales meetings and you're making decisions based on that. So from my opinion, this is one of the most important things to set up. And my advice is like, just, just watch the next five minutes. It'll take, it doesn't take a lot of time to connect, but if you do this, you're going to have the data you need to make the right decisions and actually drive the right results. So anyway, I'll get off my soapbox now, cause obviously I'm very passionate about this, but, um, let's talk about, um, just high level, how this works in HubSpot and let me put this over here and then I'll go into the actual steps. So basically what happens is. The key to tracking your Google ads strategy within, within HubSpot is you really want to use U UTM parameters. So UTM parameters are basically something you put on the end of your URL and you're basically telling, telling HubSpot and Google analytics for, for, for that matter, um, where the traffic is coming from, um, what sources, what campaigns and what keywords. So I'm going to give you a template in a couple minutes, but you basically just want to add these UTM parameters to the back of your URLs and I'll show you. And what's going to happen is when someone converts on a HubSpot form, HubSpot's going to take that UTM data and populate it in the original source field and the latest source. And what you're also going to see is there's also original source drill downs that will give you more specific information. So the original source will be, you know, paid search or Google ads. And then the drill downs will show you 
What campaign did they convert on? What was the keyword they convert on? So you're going to get so much rich data in your CRM for each contact on where they came. And lastly, once you have that data populating, you can then connect that to the contacts and further down the funnel. So when those contacts become sales opportunities, you can connect what keywords drove sales opportunities. If they become closed one, right, you can see what keywords drove closed one revenue. So um, what HubSpot does is it really connects the dots and shows you not only how many conversions you're getting from keywords, but who, who is converting? Who is the actual person? What's their job title? What company do they come from? What's their name? And how are they progressing in your sales funnel with your sales team? And so without this, without this setup, it's, it's almost impossible to do this. So again, it's a really, I'm going to show you, it's really simple to do this, but the importance of it in your strategy and being able to report back to your team on what's working, what's not, this is everything. So let's keep it moving. So there's two ways you can connect and I'm going to go through them right now and I'm going to hop into the platform. So the first way is really simple. So HubSpot has an ads platform in its platform and it's free for everyone. And basically what you can do is you can just directly connect Google ads to platform and it'll, it'll automatically start tracking it. So you'll go to marketing ads that I just did. And basically what you'll do here is you just click connect ad accounts to HubSpot. And you can connect your Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, you can do all of it. But for now, we're just going to talk about Google ads. You should click on Google ads. You're going to sign into Google ads. You're going to connect the account you want. I'm not going to go through the whole flow, but then what's going to happen is it's going to populate all your ad data to HubSpot. So let me just show you an example of this right now. So this is another account. So you can see here all the campaigns, it'll show you the data. It'll show you the contacts. It'll show you the number of customers. And if you click here, it'll show you who who converted on these keywords. So what this does is once you connect this, it actually automatically pulls in UTM parameters. So this is really all you have to do. And you'll be getting that data on the contact that I showed you to get this data. So that's the first way. The second way is, is um, doing it through the Google ads campaign. And my recommendation would be to do both of these just to make sure that all the data is coming in. So what we'll do is in Google ads, you'll go to admin and you'll go to account settings. And what you'll do is you'll go to auto tagging down here. Actually, sorry, you'll go to, you'll go to tracking. And what you're going to do is this template right here. This is the template HubSpot recommends to, to use as UTM tracking parameters. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy this and you're going to paste it right here in this tracking template. And what this tracking template is going to do is now, now you don't have to put UTM parameters on each campaign URL. It's just automatically going to do it for anything you run in Google ads. And what it's going to do is it's going to pull in the keywords that people are driving, are clicking on to drive to your page, the campaign, the source. The only thing you have to do is where it says HSA account, you got to put, you got to input your ID, your HubSpot ID, which can be found very simply right here, right under, under the name. So that's all you have to do and you click save and then you're set. Now you're all set up. And so what's going to happen is now you're going to get this data on the contact record. Like I said, so what you can do is you can create reports where you can see MQLs by source. So what's coming from paid search. And you can also see, you know, SQLs, opportunities, pipeline revenue that came from this source, right? You can clearly track this. And then on top of that, you can drill down and as I mentioned, let's give it one second. But what you're gonna see here is not only the sources, but in the drill downs, we're gonna see the keywords. Here we go. So we can see exactly who converted, right? On the through paid search. So we have a lot of data around just exactly who converted. And then on top of that, you'll see here in the original source and latest sources, we can see that they came through paid search. We can see the campaign they came through. We can see the keyword they came through, the exact keywords. So we can take this data now and say, Okay, we can see that, for example, the, this keyword is crushing it for us. So we should maybe see if we can bid more on it. We should see if we can improve the click-through rate on it. We should see if there's any more similar keywords to this that we should be testing that we're not testing already. Um, this is the way you drive your strategy. You use the data around what's driving qualified sales opportunities and customers, and you make decisions based on that. And let's say hypothetically we're bidding on 20 other keywords, and none of them are, are, um, are converting. Uh, we know to just maybe pause them, you know, if, if we've been doing it for a long time. And what this is going to do is again, we're going to spend a lot less money on the things that aren't driving results and a lot more money on the things are. And what that's going to do is just drive a much greater ROI. So again, as you saw, this is like super simple. It took 
I showed you how to do it in like literally less than five minutes, but the benefits are going to be massive in terms of understanding what's working, making decisions based on what's working and over improving the overall ROI. So that's all I got for you. If you found this interesting or you thought this was confusing, reach out to us. We could help you set this up. And on top of that, we could also create a custom Google ad strategy for you. If you're already doing Google ads, we'll give you a free audit to tell you, you know, where maybe you can improve and some quick wins to get better results. So if that sounds interesting to you, look at the link down below, go to srgmarketing.co and fill out the form and we'll, we'll chat and we'll discuss your business.